Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, we will be creating an artwork inspired by this painting that was made by the artist Paul Clay. Paul Clay was a painter who loved children's art. Often, he would use kids' art to inspire his own artworks. He was what's called an abstract artist. Abstract art uses ideas, emotions, colors, shapes, and lines without trying to paint things how they really look. Paul Clay said that art does not reproduce what we see in real life, rather, it helps us to see. Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, we are going to write our name on the paper. First thing. It's a little tricky to see with pencil, but I would like you to use a pencil to write your name and your teacher's name. You'll be able to see it if you tilt and turn the paper a little bit. After you have your name and your teacher's name on the back, you're going to flip your paper over like a pancake to make sure that your names are on the back. Then we are ready to get started. Today, we have a drawing guide. Please make sure that if you miss a step, you use your drawing guide to lead the way and guide you through the drawing. This also has a backside, which we are going to use when we draw our little birdie. Follow along with me. I want you to draw right away with a black oil pastel. It's okay if you make a mistake. Just keep going with it. We are going to start by drawing our cat's cheeks. We will start at the corner of our paper and draw a big letter J shape into the middle. If you're not sure where the middle is, you can also try and fold your paper in half and that will show you where the center is. Then we are going to draw the same shape on the other side. So we'll draw another letter J curve up to the top corner. It's okay if they are not exactly the same. Then you're going to draw the cat's ears. You want to be in the center of the paper for where they meet. Measure three to four fingers down and put a dot. We need to leave room there for our bird. Then you'll go from the top corner and draw a line in to your dot. Same thing on the other side. Now we're going to draw the cat's neck. You'll go from the bottom bump off of your paper. Next, we're going to draw the cat's nose. You're going to make this nose kind of like a raindrop or a football. Curve from the top to the bottom and draw another curve on the other side. Then you can draw a rainbow arch curve for the nose or you can draw a heart-shaped nose. It's up to you. We'll make the chin like a letter U shape underneath. And then we're ready to make the eyes. Start at the top and draw a curve out to the edge of your cat's face. Start at the top 
and curve out on the other side. The eyes will be like a football, so you're going to make another curve in to your nose. You can draw it with your finger first for practice and then with your black oil pastel. You will do the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to draw circles inside for the cat's eyes. A circle inside of the football shape and another circle. Cats have different eyes than humans. They have kind of a slit in their eye or an up and down black pupil. That's what we're going to draw next. This is the same shape you made for your nose. Then you're going to fill that in with the black oil pastel. You can go ahead and color in that shape. Now it's time to add some whiskers. You can draw three lines going out from the cheeks. Now you're going to flip your yellow paper over to the side with the bird and the cat. We are going to be drawing a little bird in between our cat's ears on top of the cat's head. You're going to start with a straight line across. Then you're going to draw a letter U shape underneath, kind of like a boat. Then you're going to extend or make that line longer so it looks like a spoon. Add an arch and then add a tail. Then you'll put your legs like lines to touch the cat's head. Add your eye and your beak. We will be finding the warm colors, warm like fire or the sunshine. We'll be using warm colors for inside of our cat's face. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, the first three colors of the rainbow. You can also use pink because pink is just a light red. you'll start to color your cat in with warm colors. You can do this in any kind of way that you want. You could do it in patches like a calico cat, or you could make stripes. It is up to you. Make sure that you also fill in the sides of your eyes with white. Those must be colored in with white. You can choose any color that you would like to make your bird. That is up to you. You could use warm or cool colors for your bird. You may also choose an eye color. It can be any color eyes that you want. I chose green because a lot of cats have green eyes, but you could choose a different color if you would like. Then for your background, that means what's around your cat, we are going to use cool colors. Cool colors are violet or purple, blue, and green. We'll fill in the background using cool colors. Again, you can color this however you would like because you are the artist, so you make your own choices. As long as you're using cool colors for the background, you can color it in any style or way that you want.
Once you are done coloring, you are going to outline using your black oil pastel over the top so that those black lines are really bold and stand out. So you'll just retrace or go over those black lines once again. For cleanup today, we are going to put our oil pastels with our colors separate from our black and our white, and those will all go back to your art cart.